All right, folks, we have the Charvel Jake style SoCal made in Mexico guitar. It's allegedly an affordable version of the Jake E. Lee guitar being a $1,300 guitar. In this video, we will discuss the similarities with the USA model and some of the differences, and we'll do a couple distorted sound clips. We have a DSL 100 British made in the other room with a Boss SD1 to kind of tighten things up, uh, sort of old school Aussie style. Uh, I don't own an 800 to do it with that, so we're gonna make do with uh, more modern measures. We will discuss what's similar. So the similarities, hardtail bridge that is a string through body, bolt on neck. We have a Seymour Duncan JB, DeMarzio SDS1, DeMarzio SDS1, single ply black pickguard, single volume, five-way selector, cat's eye input, 21 fret rosewood fingerboard with a 25 and a half inch scale length. We have the Strat headstock, a Charvel logo. We have black tuners with pearloid buttons, maple neck, and that's what it has in common. Now what's different? This one here has an older body. The bridge is made of a different material. I'm assuming the electronics are different. The adjustment for the truss rod is at the heel on this one, which I actually kind of like. Uh, this is pretty convenient. You can almost adjust that with anything. The inlay color on this is like a clay, I, I don't know, it's, it's darker. And the string tree on this one, this one's improperly installed. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but let's see if I can get this into the camera here. If you can see the grooves behind it, I'll try and line it up with that picture behind me. So the grooves for this actually point towards this camera and the string should sit in those grooves. So this has been improperly installed. Here's our hang tag here. If yours has been quality checked by any of these individuals, look it over closely. So if you watch my other video, you'll see that there were some QC issues with this one. Uh, during the video, the intonation screw for the D string fell out. And I noticed there was a crack in the finish on either side of the string tree. The neck needs adjusted, which I'm not saying that's a QC issue, uh, but I contacted the retailer and I had asked, hey, can I do a setup on this, see if it's salvageable and all that, and still return it within the return period. And they basically said the return period says you can return an instrument that's in the condition you received it in, so don't do any adjustments. So unfortunately, our review of the comparison and differences is going to be with this guitar not properly set up. I'll show you the bridge here. I don't know if you can see, our low E saddle is canted, and I'm not nitpicking here, it sounds like I am, but that left the factory like that. So somebody thought, yeah, that looks good. So what should happen? Your fretboard radius, let's say you have a 10 inch radius. You would get an understring radius and you would pull it up here and you go, okay, this is what the radius of the string should be because it should match the fretboard. Somebody looked at that and said, yeah, that looks good to me. My guitar pick is one and a half millimeters thick. If I place this on top of the low E saddle, there's still a lip. So it's canted down over a millimeter and a half. It doesn't follow the radius of the neck at all. So whoever quality checked that didn't do a good job. The intonation is not even close to correct on this. And when you receive a guitar, you should expect to have to do a setup. Not this bad. This is pretty gosh darn bad. The nut on this bring that in real close here to this iPhone. It looks like something chewed on it. This is me catching my finger on the nut on either side. It's like a Grand Canyon in there. And if you run your finger over it, you can um, elicit pain from yourself. So I think you could probably cut yourself on the edge of this. Also, and I'll try and do this, so you can see, so when you check string height on your nut slot, you wanna see how far the string is from the first fret while depressing something else. You can see it's about a mile away from the fingerboard there. So you can actually bend your note out of key. And one last thing to show before I start talking about the review, I don't know if you see all that dust in between the pickups. I don't know if it's from something they sanded or during the installation, whatever. But the retailer actually never handled this guitar. It came from Charvel in its box, went to the retailer, 
the retailer put that box in a box, shipped it to me. So I'm the first hands outside of the Charvel factory that handled this. The QC on the nut, the bridge, the string tree, it's all trash, complete trash. The good, the neck does feel silky smooth. It's fast, it feels good in your hand. Uh, it's very similar to the USA model. The fretwork on this is incredible. Um, if you had to pick, so let's pretend the bridge screw didn't fall out. Let's pretend it's not cracked uh, up here. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to send it back. I'll replace the nut myself. I'll do a setup myself. I'll do all that crap myself. But for $1,300 out of the box, I don't want cracks in my finish. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just how I am, especially when the player series strats are almost half the cost of this. And essentially all this is is a strat with better pickups and a hardtail bridge, arguably easier to make. Um, but just the oversights on it, you look at it and you, you're kind of underwhelmed for that price point. But it looks like, oh, so the dust from the nut, that's all over there. But since this is so high on the, on the E string, what I play today, I won't use the high E because it wouldn't be fair to compare it to that. Um, I'm sorry, but going back to what I was saying, the fret work on this is incredible. And if you had to pick, what would you rather have, bad fret work and a good nut? or a bad nut and good fretwork. You pick the good fretwork every time. I can't do any adjustments on this because like they said, send it back the way you received it. So I'm not going to adjust the intonation. I'm not going to adjust the neck. I'm not going to try and save the nut. I'm just going to wait until my new one comes. And then that'll be a second video where I set them side by side and I go, is the QC equally shitty on these guitars? Or is this one better? And I just ended up with a fluke out of the box. Uh, serial number is MC214573. It is a 2022 model. Um, doesn't have a work order or anything on here. But if you end up with this serial number guitar, you got a B stock return from a customer. So what is um, different here? The back of the neck, there's no skunk stripe. On the USA, there's a skunk stripe. The headstock is not painted on this model. It's natural wood, whereas on the USA, it's painted. The bridge saddles are a different component. Older body. And uh, we'll get into some sound samples here, and then I'll do it side by side with um, the USA. Oh, in addition, one last thing, the frets on this are larger, and again, all those measurements will be in the description. So here we go. do the same thing. So on the USA, so I said the saddles are different on that. These are a polished sort of nickel steel, whereas those look like some sort of pot metal. I can't tell if the base plate's the same or not on the Mexican made one versus the USA made one. You'll notice that the fretboard on this is much darker, but it's still rosewood. And it's not because it's been oiled because you can see it's a dark piece all the way through. Uh, that's wood variation. I'm sure that will darken up with a little bit of oil and some time on it. Uh, the bullet truss rod on this versus the heel adjustment on that, the correct string tree, and you'll see the painted headstock. And there's no thing on the back of it that states about the headstock being a licensed trademark. In the other video, you'll see the USA side by side with the Mexican made one, and the finish is a little bit different. This has the lavender hue, whereas that doesn't. I actually like that color a lot. I don't have any problem with this. Um, most folks don't even realize there's lavender to it unless you hold it in different light. 
So, uh, but it, it's great all the way around. The one thing I did notice is on the pickguard on the Mexican one versus the pickguard on the USA one is the bevel on the the side appears more consistent. That one looks like it was, uh, I don't know, rushed, cut, a little bit different. And it's not as sharp going up on the USA versus on that one where it feels a little bit sharper. The pickups are identical, but the pickup for the middle on the Mexican versus the USA is uh, closer on the Mexican than the USA to the humbucker. So I, I messed that sentence all up. The humbucker, wow. The middle pickup on the Mexican is closer to the humbucker than on the USA. There, I think I said it properly that time. Uh, the fret wire on this is a little bit narrower, uh, almost as tall. From the factory, my white one had a few issues of the USA. There's a finish blem in the pocket that they clear coated over and the skunk stripe, uh, you could feel it with the back of your hand. Real easy fix, and to be honest with you, if I walked into a music store and I could buy this for what I paid, I buy it 10 times out of 10. If I don't have enough uh, in the bank, I'm gonna use a credit card. If I don't have a credit card, I'm taking a line of credit out on the house. If I don't have a house, I'm borrowing against the car. And if not, I'm eating ramen for a month or two so that I can afford it, because I would buy this guitar 10 out of 10 times every time. And I already own it, plus a handful of others that are copied off of it. Um, my custom one's built based off of that. A um, couple different specs, but I have a purple burst. I have the blue burst. I have that one. I have one of these here. The replacement coming tomorrow. And I'll, again, I'll do the side-by-side -side comparison but, uh, to uh, compare the QC. But I, I love the USA one. This one, um, I'm a little underwhelmed due to the QC. I have a feeling that properly set up, this will be a screaming guitar because it plays very, very nice and it sounds good. One detail, and I'll put this in the description, I forgot to mention it, is the weight. This is a seven pound guitar. That one is a seven pound guitar. They are dead on the same weight, which is remarkable considering that's ash, this is older. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out, and it's in the other video, it'll be difficult to see, but I'm gonna try and get in the light here. There you go. You can kind of see there's a flame maple on that neck. It's real pretty. Uh, looking down at it at this angle here, let's see if I can do it this way. You can see there's a real nice flame there. And it's not a photo flame, it's not fake. Uh, it's just natural in the wood. It looks really good. How that passed, I don't know how anyone looked at that and just thought, yeah, pressing there. I mean, I'm barely touching it. And that's what it's doing to my, my finger to get that to the fret. So now up here, it doesn't feel as bad, obviously, but in the first position, it's terrible. Um, if you get one of these, look it over carefully, but wait for my next video where I compare this one to its replacement, because I want to make sure that this isn't a fluke. If the next one comes and it's a turd, I'll just send this, them both back and that'll be that. If the next one comes and it's awesome, I fully intend on using it and playing it and setting it up and doing everything for my preference. Um, I think I hit on everything I wanted to discuss. Oh, the tuners. Um, on the Mexican made, they're Charvel logoed. And on the USA made, they are Goto logoed. And these feel a little bit tighter than on the USA. I don't know if that's good or bad, if it's a different ratio or what's going on, but the finish, like I said, it's a different color, but it's very, very pretty. Um, I'm really nitpicking at this point, but there's a spot on the back, where was it? Right there, where there's a dust speck in the back. And right here, it's, it's so hard to even see this stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's a glare on it. There's a couple bubbles that are underneath the clear coat. And if you've ever painted anything with a metallic paint, it's a son of a bitch. So that's really nitpicking. But other than that, the neck feels very comfortable. The look is cool. It's a good Jake style look. If the next one comes and it plays well, it might be the affordable Jakey e. Lee style guitar option. If the next one comes and it doesn't play well, I don't know. 
Charvel and Jackson have been raising their prices and if someone's willing to pay $1,300 for this level of quality, the USA ones might go up further in value. I don't know. But there you have it. Uh, I hope to record the new video tomorrow when the new guitar comes. So any questions, leave them in the comments. Get a hold of me. I apologize for the production. We're doing it with an iPhone. So, all right. You take care of yourself.